Today, everybody, Mrs. Hodgson is going to be explaining equivalent fractions. Equal, 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 equal. They all equal. In this problem, the top numbers are not giving us any clues. But the bottom numbers, the denominators, are helping us to solve the problem. When we work with equivalent fractions, we work with multiply. So this is how I set the problem up. I'm going to look at the 4 and ask myself, what can I do to the 4 to make it 16? So I'm going to count in 4s. 4, 8, 12, 16. I times 4 by 4. And with fractions, what you do to the bottom number, you always do to the top. 1 times 4 is 4. Let's try a few more problems. For this one, the bottom numbers again are going to help us. There is no clues yet for the top numbers. Now we need to count in sevens till we get to 21. You need to know your seven times table, boys and girls. Seven, seven, 14, 21. The answer is three. So we know that we are timesing by three. And what we do to the bottom number, we must do to the top. Four times three, four, eight, 12 is 12. And there is our answer for the equivalent fraction. Let's go to the next one. The next one, the top numbers are helping us. What can I do to 5 to make it 30? Let's count in 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The answer is 6. 5 times 6 equals 30. So because we times in by 6 at the top, we times by 6 at the bottom. 8 times 6 is 48. And that's how we do equivalent fractions.